Hello, Conscious Creators. How you doing tonight? It is 7 o'clock. It's 7 minutes at 7 o'clock. It's 7 at 7 on Sunday. What is this? June the 7th? Yes, it's June 7th, uh, 2020. And we are 7 minutes at 7 o'clock. A mini life coaching session. 7 minute life coaching session. I'm going to hold out just a few minutes to see if I can get uh, a couple of more folk coming up in here to get started. But um, hopefully everybody's having a great weekend, getting accustomed to, I don't know, the summer. Summertime's here. You know, it's a little bit warm. I, I was, I don't know what happened with my air conditioner last night, but it was going and going and going. And now I'm sweating and I'm like, what's going on? So I checked and it was just pumping and pumping, but it was, I don't know. So I had to shut it down and start all over again. I guess it kind of got tired and froze or whatever. It decided it wasn't going to cool anymore. But anyway, I had a nice day today. Nice, cool, nice, cool apartment today. So here I am this evening, seven o'clock, seven minutes for, for a seven minute life coach session, a mini session. Going to kind of cover and talk a little bit about, you know, what I would share with a, a client uh, in regards to, um, you know, coaching their situations, you know, sometimes they come in with, they come with very, a variety of things. They want to, they're working on a project or working on a book or working on, you know, trying to decide whether to move, move across the country or, you know, getting that new job, uh, things like that, you know, uh, creative kind of things. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, my, one of my specialties is creativity, create your, I kind of help you with your creative abilities and your powers and, and, uh, they, they come in to kind of help, you know, want me to help them out with some creativity things, manifesting, some, make, making some things happen in their lives, making some dreams come true. Hi, Chad. Good to see you. Always good to see you, girl. I appreciate you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for you know, being a member of the Facebook, Facebook page of the Conscious Creators. I appreciate it. I would like to shout out to, we have three new members that actually joined today, and they're from uh, somewhere across the water. Uh, Asad, welcome Asad. Welcome Nelly. And welcome, IG. Welcome to the, uh, the Conscious Creators fa uh, group, Facebook group page. Happy to have you as a conscious creator. A conscious one is what we call ourselves. Uh, awakened, aware, conscious, hopefully being, living life on purpose. That's basically what we do. We live like a life on purpose, awakened, wide awake, and, and trying to wake up other folk. So come on in here. We're going to just be here for about seven minutes. I'm going to do a seven-minute chat, but I'm kind of wasting a little bit of time to see if I can get, you know, some other, other folk in here to, to hear this mini session. What we've been doing this past week, I've been sharing with, with uh, the members, uh, you know, sharing on the group page, manifestation. We're talking about, we were, I was sharing the five techniques or the five steps of manifesting. And basically, I know somebody, one, uh, I had a conversation with a friend of mine yesterday, and she says, I'm not sure if everybody understands what manifestation is. I said, oh, yes, they do. Everybody knows what manifesting is. And she says, well, I don't know. Sometimes they may get confused because I get confused. And I says, okay, well, let me wrap it up a little bit for you. Manifestation. Manifestation is creating or manifesting or bringing something into your reality that wasn't already there, something that you, that you would like, a desire that you would like, a wish, a dream come true, or, or a desire that you have. You manifest that in, in, into your life. We manifest all the time. That's what we do. We are creators. We are created uh, like our creator, our source, God, universe. God creates, we create, because we're made out of the same stuff, and we're made to do the same things that that creator does. So we create. So we're creating anyway. A lot of times we create mm, kind of haphazardly. We know what we, we think we know what we want, or we, we kind of talk a, a nice game about what we want, and, and we end up with, oh, oh, this, and oh, maybe I don't really want that. So what we're doing, what, we, what I'm hoping to do and sharing with you is to give you a reason to really deliberately and on purpose manifest and create the life that you would like to have rather than the one that you accidentally bump into or you stumble into or you bumble into as you're living your life, not always on purpose, but just trying to get by. So we're going to, so I came up with, I, I didn't, they're not my steps. Uh, they're part, part of the law of, of attraction, LOA. And I kind of tweaked them a little bit to make them shorter so I could spit them out real quick to you know, to you and to my clients and kind of make it easy. So I call them five simple steps of manifestation. The difference between manifesting and creating is 
Cre a, crea a creation is something that's never was, that's never ever been, not even in anybody's reality for the most part. For instance, um, flying. When the Wright brothers did, you know, created a way for us to fly, they actually created a way for us to fly because man didn't fly. Birds flew, you know, other creatures flew, but man didn't fly. So they created the airplane to, to allow us as humans to be able to fly like the birds. So that's what a, a creation is something that's never been done before. Now, when I want to when I want to manifest a car into my life, well, well, there's tons of cars all over, especially in Atlanta, Georgia. There's too many cars out on the road. So if I want to manifest that in my life, of course, what I'm doing is I'm I'm manifesting a car in my driveway that used to be at the car lot or at the or, or on some assembly plant. But as I'm manifesting it, it may not even be, it may still be on the assembly line or may never have not get, gotten to the assembly, assembly, assembly line yet. But I'm manifesting it. And by the time it get to my, my driveway or my garage, of course, it's been through that process of being manufactured, created, you know, shipped over to the uh, car lot. You know, the, the, the uh, salesman got a job to, to he, maybe he wasn't even working there at the time that I'm thinking about having one, having this manifestation. So all of that Universe takes care of all those details behind that manifestation. All I got to do is I've just got to have the dream and have the intention and have the desire and know that I have, that I'm, a, that I, I'm, I'm deserving of. I, I want it. I can have it. I can do it. So, so that's what manifestation is. Manifestation is bringing something into your reality that belongs to you, into your reality that was not there, that you have a desire to have there. So that's the difference between the man, uh, manifestation and crea creation. So the five steps, I'm going to kind of go through them real quick uh, because I, the information is pretty much on the website, but I want to, like I said, I put a, put a little bow on it tonight. There's five simple steps. And the first one is know what you do not want. And somebody asked, why, why would you want to do that? Why do you want to know what you don't want? Well, if you know what you don't want and you get that out front because, you know, you're going to, probably talk to yourself and, you know, like you, you know what, you, you kind of think you know what you want. But if you start looking at it on the flip side and say, well, I don't want to not have a car. I don't want to, I don't want to keep struggling with this old job and I, I, I can, I, I, making pennies or making this salary when I can get this job and make more money. So I'm, I'm, I don't want to continue to make less money. I want to make more money. So I want, I don't want this job. I want that job. So knowing what you don't want and getting emotional about it and, 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 you know, really firm about it, it clears up what you do want. Then you have a, when you sit down to really analyze or describe or intend or dream about what you want, then you have a clearer picture because you've gotten rid of all the don'ts or the nots in the, in the equation. So you're just looking at, you know, the blue, the blue uh, car or, or the house with, with you know, the, the split level house or the town home or the, you know, you know pretty much after you've dismissed what you don't want, what you do want. Because number two, the number two step is to be specific about what you do want. And specific means as much of the details as you can, you can name or you can describe or you can say. Just th then you know, you know what you want. You describe it, you be as specific as you can. And just like having feelings about what you don't want, we want you to have feelings about what you do want. So we want you to d make that description of, of your desire, of that specific desire that you want, but we want you to do it with feelings and emotions and, and, just, and, and materially, materially and emotionally is what I say in the, in, the, in, the, in the list. But by emotions, I mean, feel it, you know, feel Feel how, you know, how does it make you feel to have this or whatever it is to have this new job or to go on this vacation or to, or to, or to, or to have this new home or to have this relationship or connection? How does it make you feel? And, and again, use as many of your five senses as you can in really feeling and describing it and, and talking to yourself about it and, 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 and imagining it and using your, basically using your imagination to create a picture of it in your mind's eye. So feel it. You know, I, I, and I kind of mentioned in the, the, the write up, the, uh, well, the, I think I did a little blog today on it. I said, imagine yourself, you know, just go, if you have to go to the car lot and sit in the car and get the smell of that new, of a new car smell. Now you've, you've, you've activated your sense of smell and your sight, and you know you 
you know, you hear, you can, you know, you know, bang on the horn a little bit, turn the radio on. Now you hear, hear what, hear what the sound sounds like in your in your new car. So you you're actually creating in your mind's eye that picture and that feel. So one number one, know what you don't want, and and emotionally and materially, know what you do want specifically in details as much as you can what you want and don't want emotionally and materially. The third thing you want to do is visualize and using again, you're using your that visualization. And I like this particular particular step because it's fun. Because you can kind of use your imagination. I I, I uh, lose tell I laugh because sometimes my clients kind of kind of get kind of crazy with me when I talk about we're gonna visualize this this new job, or you're going to visualize, you know, you're sitting there, uh, you know, at the at the store, and you're you're signing your book, and you're gonna, yeah, and they say like, you want me to even pretend, you know, like yeah, we, you wait, you may want to call it pretend, but I'm going to say use your creative imagination to see yourself in that process, see yourself, you know, in walking into the building of your new job, see yourself on your first date with this this new relationship, this new this new this new relationship that you've started. You know, imagine yourself on the airplane going, flying off to your vacation or on the ship. You know, I, I say when you're in the shower, you know, kind of, you know, close your eyes and kind of visualize, you know, the water, the water splashing on your face as you're, you know, you're on the on a ship or something and, and you're sailing through the sailing through the ocean. So activate your again, activate all of your as many of your five senses as you can. Feel it, smell it, taste it, hear it. Go to a rest, go to a, if you want to go to Jamaica, what, go to a Jamaican restaurant and, you know, get, you know, have a Jamaican meal or whatever and get the smells of the, of the place in your mind. Find somebody that, that has, a, has that uh, accent, that Jamaican accent, and hang out with them a bit. You know, do things to create, create uh, the, the atmosphere or create an image of your manifestation of your desire, of your dream. So that's number three. Know what you don't want. Know what you do want. Visualize. Play with it. Play with it, and and have fun with it. I tell myself. I tell my. I tell uh, you know. Do a, a vision board if you have to, or put a picture on your refrigerator or something on your phone. You know your your backdrop on your phone. Do something to kind of keep that picture in front of you, so you you know you're always seeing it. And before you know it. You know, you're driving down the street, you want that new Benz or whatever. You drive every car you see, every third car you see is a Benz. So one of those cars are going to end up in your garage, okay? So number four, number four, no, I'm sorry, number three. I skipped number three. Number three was get rid of limiting beliefs. And limiting beliefs, that's a, this is a tricky one. Number three was a tricky one. I skipped it. But number three, limiting beliefs are beliefs that you have that, are really blockage, they block or limit you or restrict you from actually having or acquiring or manifesting what you want. And it would be like, um, maybe you have a fear of, of, you know, getting that new job. You, you know, if I get that new job, then I got to get a whole new wardrobe. You know, you start thinking about, you know, why you, why you don't deserve it or why you can't do it or why it's, it's not really yours. You can't claim it for yourself. Limiting beliefs can be a tricky thing sometimes because a lot of times we think, hi, I love you too. Uh, we think we want something or we believe that we deserve it. We believe that we can, we deserve it and, and, and we, we're worth, you know, if we can do it, we can do it. And we, we really start thinking and, and we start looking at ourselves and being honest with ourselves. There may be something about whatever it is we're trying to accomplish that we fear or that we have an apprehension about or that we just don't really truly believe that we can can or can do it deserve it or whatever. So you want to identify any of those and you want to flip the switch on them. You know, flip the switch on them. Now, this one the limiting beliefs, I get a lot of clients that come in because they, you know, they're having, you know, I keep trying to do such and such and it just doesn't work out. And then we start looking and asking questions and we find out that you really don't believe that you can do it or you have a fear about it or you don't feel like you deserve it you know you just you have these you have some belief that you can't acquire, can't acquire or can't manifest whatever it is that you're doing so we we kind of work on getting rid of those and sometimes it takes a little bit of effort to change that change a limiting belief to a, to an empowering belief or to switch the I call it flipping a switch on it but if you if you go through all of the steps and that last step, the last, the very last step is to release, surrender, 
surrender. Once you've accomplished uh, knowing, uh, identifying what you don't want, identifying in detail what you do want, um, getting rid of limiting beliefs, uh, visualizing it, you know, kind of using your imagination, pretending, you know, whatever, uh, using your imagination to visualize it. Then we want to release it. We want to release it. We, we, we don't want to, we don't want to, uh, we want to still, we still want to imagine it. We still have the desire. If we, if it comes to our mind, you know, it's still a burning. We're excited about it, but we're not tied to it where we're just desperate about it, where we just, you know, like uh, clenching our teeth and, and just like, you know, like turning a stove on and sitting there watching the pot boil. We don't want to do that. We want to go on about our lives and live our lives. And yeah, you see that car? Oh, that's, that goes so bend. That's the one I'm going to get. But I'm okay about it. I'm not, you know, tense about it or whatever. So we release it. And basically you're releasing it to the universe. We're releasing it to God because that's who's going to work the back, the in the background, work the details out about it. Going to make sure that the car or the, the job or whatever is there. It's going to be there and ready for you when destiny brings it to you or when, when God opens that avenue and door for you. Know that you're going to have it. Know that you're going to do it. Believe that you're going to can, can do it. Feel it, taste it, smell it, but let it go and wait and watch and wait for it to come to you. Release it, surrender it to the universe and let the universe work the details out for you. Okay. Work all the details out getting it, making sure that the, the, the salesman is going to be working on the day that you go to into the lot to pick up the car or that, you gonna that you, the boss is gonna ask you just the right question. The the at your interview, you're gonna just ask you just the right questions that you can just spout off and just be a superstar in answering. So all of those details, we leave that to God, universe, Father, Creator. They handle all the backdrop. We just we just do our little manif our dream and and being determined about it. You know, being believing that we deserve it, believing that we can have it, and we just watch it happen. Watch it happen. Now, somebody, some, somebody asked me too. Why, you know, you know, I do that, and and is it guaranteed that I, it's, it's guaranteed that you're going to manifest? Okay, it was, it's guaranteed. How long you do it, or what kind of, how much, how, what kind of time frame? It may be a little bit of a trick on that because maybe when you as you're going through these, and really, I think probably the limiting beliefs is my number one culprit because a lot of times people don't realize that they don't believe that they can have this or they have a hidden fear because beliefs are tricky. You can tell, you can say that you believe something, but when you really start digging a little deeper about it and you're asking the right questions and you know, you, 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 you quizzing yourself, then you find out that maybe I, maybe there's something about my belief in this particular, whatever it is that I that I just don't have. I'm not, I'm not strong enough. So the, the limiting belief one usually usually trips a lot of people up. And what I say, if you go through this and you've given it your best shot and you've, you've used your imagination, you've done all this and you can't, then you may want to sit back and maybe have somebody, ask somebody, do I, do I, do I seem like I'm afraid to go on, you know, to lose 25 pounds? I want to lose 25 pounds. I've been trying to do it for two years and I just can't do it. Do I do, do I act like I'm afraid to be, you know, 25 pounds thinner? You know, and you start talking and asking people, they may be able to help you under, help you open up a better understanding about what you believe and don't believe. And and again, if you have, if you really can't find that friend, or you've gone through those friends too, family members, give me a call. Because so one of the, one of the things that we do uh, at the at, you know at the, at the uh, at, with life coaching is we help people identify those limiting beliefs and help them get rid of them. And a lot of times it just, it's a matter of just, just sometimes just a matter of minutes that you, where you had a belief forever and we can help you change that belief, flip the switch on that belief in a matter of minutes. Uh, so don't get stuck on, you know, two years, you're trying to get a job or get this car because it shouldn't take that long. You know, cars, there's a ton of cars all over. Now, if you want to do something a little bit like you want to, you do, you know, grow something in, in Georgia that doesn't grow in Georgia, you know, then you're going to have to maybe, you know, do a little bit, a little bit more, be a little bit more creative about that. But something as simple as a car, a job or losing weight, getting that relationship, you know, they're, they're, they're there for us to just grab, the, you know, trees all over the place, just grab it. So don't waste don't waste and, 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 you know, beat yourself up trying to manifest when you, you know, 
why, you know, why can't I lose the 25 pounds? I've been, you know, trying to diet for two years. Call us, call us and let us help you find out which one of these five simple steps you get tripped up on and we will help you. We will help you overcome that challenge. And before long, before, before you know it, probably, probably by the time you get out of the office and go to bed, wake up the next morning, you, aha, you got it. You, 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 you figure you broke the code on it and you know, it's on its way, whatever it is, it's on its way. Or maybe, oh, you know, you know, I don't know, laying in bed next to you. I don't know, whatever, you know, uh, anyway, do, uh, do those uh, again. I'm going to, going to kind of rattle them off really quick and I'm gone over seven minutes, but I'm going to say, know what you don't want, know what you do want, know it, feel it, see it, taste it. If you have to. Get rid of any limiting beliefs that you have about it, that you can't do it, that you're afraid, of, afraid to succeed or afraid to, to have whatever. Get rid of that limiting belief. Visualize, use your visualization, and then release it to the universe and watch and wait and see it happen for you. You can manifest absolutely anything that you desire. Your dreams, if you can dream it, you can see it. If you can, if you can see it, you can, if, if you can see it, it can be, it, you could have it. So don't let your dreams just, just be dreams. Make them a reality. Make them a reality if that's what, if that's your desire. That's what these five steps, five simple steps of manif manifesting, that's what they will help you do. If you, and again, if you trip up on them or if you, you know, you've, be, 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 you, you know, you've, you've waited long enough to, even, you know, help me. Give me a, give us a call and let us help you get, get over, get over, oh, we'll overcome these challenges that you might find yourself having. Again, thanks for being with me. Thanks for being a, uh, just a faithful member and a faithful viewer or a friend or pal of, of the, of the Conscious Creators uh, Facebook group page. We really, uh, we really appreciate, uh, pre pre appreciate all of our Conscious Creators, our Conscious Co-Creators, our Conscious Ones. We love, 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 love you. Pass the love around and, you know, just keep on watching. Keep on looking at us and we will see you on Thursday night for the Conscious Creators Toolbox where we will be ho hopefully a little bit better and, and bringing an interview to you. Uh, we got to probably have with us, I believe we're going to have a, some, a, someone that does crystals that can, can kind of tell us a little bit more about crystals. So we're probably going to have them and we will also kind of have that one that we missed last week, we, we failed to have her. I've had the interview. We had a little, a little technical problem. So we're going to try to overcome that. And we're going to have the Reiki master going to come back sometime before the end of the month to, to kind of get that review, uh, that interview into. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of the, the uh, today, the Sunday, nice weekend. And have a great and wonderful week. Manifest best. Manifest best. You can do it. Make your dreams come true. I love you guys. Take care.